The worst festival experience. <laughs> Ouch! My ego's hurt. Quick, easy, humbly, simple. This is why you don't trust women. Good night. One hour ago. And the man right here done picked me up from the airport, hey, bro. You're welcome. Thank you. But look, this is why. Fellas, do not trust women, but they be lying. Mm -hmm. You see, she flat out lied an hour ago. She said good night. And she right here. This happens much more often than you'd think. Accurate. 100%. Are there any benefits to having a phase after a breakup? I think it's fine and it's good to get attention when you weren't given it from someone you yes. thought like was supposed to give you attention. It's kind of like an ego trip, I think, that you yeah, go on after comments. like, yeah, like Maybe. shit doesn't work out. It's like, I don't know. I feel like people, people's confidence wavers and they, they need to find something or someone to tell them they're pretty and say all the things they need to hear and people do it, whatever. Just some 304 advice from 304s. Nothing new here. If her default thinking is, I'm unhappy, so now I'm just gonna go find another random dude and jump in his bed. That's a broken mindset, bros. Broken. There's some childhood stuff going on there. Nothing to see here but a car crash. No thank you. You wanna really know the say. most humbled I've ever felt in my life? Oh no. Um, I kissed a guy, and he goes... I can fill your lip filler. Oh, yeah. And I said, oh, and then continues to touch my lips like this. All right, we're starting a war in the comments, all right? Everyone get ready. Does anyone actually prefer the plastic surgery? Does anyone actually prefer the makeup? To me, it's a turn off. I like the all natural, but be sure to fight in the comments. Nah, I see how it is. <clears throat> Next time you leave me undelivered for over an hour, I'm gonna block you and I'm never gonna text you ever again. Since since you're being like this with me, I'm gonna be like that with you because I ain't never got this mad when you freaking left me undelivered. You're fake as bye. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. But you are fake and it really shows how much you don't wanna talk to me. So And the easiest ice time in history goes to this chick. Ice time. Congratulations, young lady. You get the Ice Age. Ice Age! Bye-bye. ...are not pursuing life paths that can carry them into their 30s, 40s, and 50s, or something that they can pass on to their children. How are you going to pass on this? What kind of legacy are you creating? This mood, this feeling that you have right now, this trend, this will pass when you get older, when you're done with this. But the scars are gonna be on the internet forever, for the rest of your life, for the rest of your children's lives, for the rest of your grandchildren's lives. 100% accurate. And she, uh, she gets wife of the day. She gets a ring. Congratulations. I don't watch people's stories on Instagram. I don't give a damn. Like, I don't care about anybody's pancake at the souffle shop and whatever, dude. I don't give a damn. I'm living my own reality. Young men should be more selfish. Now, of course, I'm not saying you should stop caring about people and become an asshole. Of course not. But 80 to 90% of your time should be spent pursuing your purpose, increasing your value as much as possible. Use your 20s building skills. Build up your muscle, build up your money, build up your game, build the style, build the charm, and then carry that and utilize that throughout the rest of your life. Responsibility is very easy to take on. When you are young, more than likely this is the freest you will ever be. So utilize that time as wisely as you can. Make sure everything that is taking up your time is adding to your life, adding to your value in some way. Maybe you like a snack, right? been ghosted so much that you start dating ghosts. Mm. 2023 dating everybody? Dope. You can see me. Get out of your book. And you matter, alright? There's always gonna be somebody that cares about you. And you're a good person. No matter what people say, you matter. Ignore them. They're losers. They're ding dong ditching you. I'm just trying to say something nice. Like, I don't know what they're doing, they're running away and stuff. I'm just trying to say that you matter, man. Or girl. Whoever you are, you matter to someone. Just keep that in mind, don't forget that. This kid's going places. What a legend. Just your friendly reminder that if he's not literally obsessed with you, 
remove him from the rotation. The core of women's dating strategy is to find the man that is better than them in every way possible. Hypergamy. And a man being obsessed with them upsets this hierarchy. Women do not want the man that is going to put them on a pedestal. Just think about it. There's good, nice guys everywhere. If that's what they really wanted, they would pick one of the nice guys in their DMs. Watch the actions, not the words. If I met your mother and she didn't like me, <laughs> how would you communicate that relationship? Yeah, I'd, I'd block her. It's you. <laughs> I'm gonna go. She'd have to go. <laughs> oh my God, don't cry. Uh, I'm a grown man. I don't need my mom's permission anymore. We can make this work. Mm -hmm. I need a restraining order against her. <laughs> huh? Bro, what? Huh? What? Huh? Is this simple to the max right here? Huh? You cutting off your mama for some random chick? Huh? You only got one mom, but there's an ocean of chicks. What? Simp it. Get him out of here. Take a broken guy, heal him, and he will love you forever. Now take a broken girl, heal her, and she will leave you broken. In the span of 24 hours, I had one man tell me that nobody will date a girl with a kid. And then I vented to another guy about the person who said that. And then he told me, no, that's not true. But a man doesn't want to date a girl who has slept with a lot of guys. Two for two. <laughs> Rough reality check. Women should preserve themselves as much as possible. This is just the brutal reality. Men are built and women should be protected and preserved. She made her choices. She can't blame anyone but herself. No man should have to come into her life and make up for all of her bad decisions. Wake up, embrace reality for what it is and not what you want it to be. I'm being for real. This, this, this keeps roasting me about my glasses and my nose piercings. <laughs> lethal absolutely lethal ai does not miss bro subscribe why aren't you subscribed huh calling promiscuity being a bad is gonna rot a woman's soul out while she's sitting there judging a woman as inside of a frame of a strong man and you think the woman that's being submissive is losing i promise you the one that's making the man feel like he's doing a great job by providing and making him feel appreciated he's working his ass off to make her life an absolute dream meanwhile you're still on the apps drinking box wine thinking it's in the city getting ran through all the time on a tinder and your soul's rotting out good luck shout out justin waller of course good men want to take care of their women they want to provide for them it feeds our status and it feeds our ego to protect and provide a good woman you need to know this about yourself as a man because a lot of guys end up protecting and providing for a woman that doesn't deserve it you feel good protecting and providing for her so you keep doing it meanwhile she doesn't deserve it and she's treating you disrespectfully no of course you live up to your masculine burden but be sure she earns that and she values that about you. Hey! Get him out of here with this shit. What is this, dude? Huh? You just gonna come at me like that? No warning, no nothing? Get him out of here.